so friends today we are going to discuss about the message broker version v6 uh, let me just uh, to, uh, explain you what we are going to cover in this part we are uh, we, we are just uh, uh, explaining the uh, differences between the different versions and after uh, after understanding these differences we will just move on the hands on on the iib how to uh, how to work on iib how to create a project how to create uh, uh, how to deploy it so uh, let me first explain uh, the uh, versions and their explanation and their features uh, the first thing the iib the iib toolkit uh, uh, message broker uh, version 6 uh, what exactly it provides it provides the web services uh, security uh, adapter nodes adapter nodes means uh, it, uh, we can easily deploy the uh, uh, sap uh, sap uh, sap nodes uh, sibils uh, and etc. and the file nodes uh, we can re, uh, reusable uh, reusability means uh, we have the adapter uh, we have the adapters we can use the adapters we have the uh, shared libraries this shared by libraries can be reused uh, another thing will be uh, it will provide uh, other nodes like database nodes uh, database retrieval nodes email routings routing nodes kind of things performance if we are talking about the performance uh, XML parser performance. XML parser parser performance means uh, it the XML parser that will do the parsing. It is performance-wise better as compared to uh, rewriting the code. And the same thing is XLT performance storage uh, storage. When we are uh, storing the data in format of the XML, then it will little bit improve the performance. Uh, same as the data DB2. Uh, it's a mandate uh, while we are using the DB2 mandatory to create the uh, broker database uh, it's required to create a broker database uh, we haven't worked uh, on uh, uh, this IB version uh, 6 uh, but uh, from the uh, from the trainings and all other uh, they will exp they will uh, provide some uh, data where they will explain uh, earlier they are working like this they are working like this so the same thing we are explaining to uh, our viewers uh, in version 6 uh, they, they will uh, they will db2 i have never worked on the uh, version 6 but uh, these are the some basically uh, difference to be keep in your mind key what exactly be uh, the things will be provided earlier and what things will be introduced in uh, newer versions uh, so next one is the configuration manager uh, co basically what happened uh, if I, if I'm talking about if you are a Java developer or if you are a .NET developer, uh, for a Java developer, Java developer will provide uh, it, uh, it it will create it will create jar files or var files, and uh, the jar files or var files var files will be deployed by the configuration manager. Uh, and in, if I'm talking about the .NET in .NET, uh, basically they will publish the code and uh, uh, keep uh, keep the published code and deploy in in, in uh, their uh, servers. The same as uh, in uh, IIB, uh, in message uh, in uh, version six, uh, they will uh, introduce a new uh, new file that is the bar file. What exactly the bar file will do? Uh, the developer will give the bar file to the configuration manager, and the configuration manager will take the bar file and deploy in the uh, in the broker administrator uh, block, and uh, it will work just like the var file and uh, and jar files. Okay, yeah. Thanks for watching. Uh, in the next session, we'll discuss about the uh, version. Okay, let me just explain uh, the next slide also. Uh, in the version 6.1, uh, what new features will be introduced is they will introduce uh, the new feature, uh, uh, the same features that the uh, uh, version V6 will be providing. Uh, they will keep the uh, keep them uh, and introduce uh, a new feature that is the soap nodes. Uh, the file node will be earlier there, but uh, they introduce the soap node in this feature. Uh, and the next uh, we will discuss about the IAB version v7 in the version v7 they have removed lot of the th things from the previous version and introduce new things to optimize the uh, performance so uh, the first what they will do they will remove the configuration manager of db2 uh, in the earlier version v uh, v6 uh, you have remember that i will told you ki while uh, the configuration manager will deploy the database first what he need to do he need to create uh, create a configuration for uh, db2 and after that deploy deployment need to be do so uh, basically that is little bit uh, hectic work for administrative uh, administrative need to extra rework on the db2 
so uh, what they will do they will just remove this part and uh, the architecture of the web spare message broker version we think has been simplified uh, so this way uh, they will make uh, uh, the administrative part uh, here simplifies uh, simplification and the message broker has no requirement of the database when you migrate from the previous version and then change uh, changes will be applied okay because a database is no longer is mandatory in the requirement of uh, the message broker db2 the db2 running clients uh, running clients are not supported uh, when you purchase a web spare message broker uh, v7 okay that is the problem if you have the if you if somebody uh, has done uh, the db2 configurations and he just want to uh, migrate to the new version so uh, it's a uh, big challenge for uh, uh, while we are deploying in the v, uh, version v7 uh, the simplicity and productivity will be introduced in this because uh, uh, it is faster uh, faster easier to deploy the uh, this, uh, the sixth one is broker maintain configuration data in the local file system what happened earlier they are maintaining the database now they are maintaining the local data local file system optimization data uh, deployment and interaction with the brokers uh, in the interaction administrative security will be increased in this part we will discuss later while uh, while we are talking about how it will be introduces the uh, the web spare message broker explorer they will provide you the message bro uh, message web spare message uh, message explorer uh, where we can publish and subscribes and support uh, uh, call for the supports there are different kind of the pattern universal con connectivity for soa uh, soa objects dynamic operation management it will be provided multiple instance of the broker uh, broker can be created uh, it can uh, it can also provide one more thing audit and monitoring and uh, introduce a resource statistics how how much a resource uh, will taking uh, how much of uh, memory and uh, all other things uh, so we will uh, and the next uh, version of the masses broker will be the version 8 ibm decide to stop the web web spare enterprises service bus and migrate it to the web spare message broker okay the earlier the name of this iib message uh, web spare enterprises service is uh, converted into the message broker and name uh, renamed to the ibm integration bus that is iib that we have written earlier uh, on the top on top of every slide the iib can be called as a broker as an integration node as an execution node okay so what they will do they will integrate uh, earlier uh, before this version 8 uh, each and everything need to be installed separately but here in iib uh, we call the broker as an integrator node uh, integration node and execution group as execution group is known as integration servers okay uh, in the, uh, what what the features they will improve here they improve the web visualization and analytics they will improve the uh, detection and resolution on unresponsive message flows uh, what they will do service discoveries and catalogings uh, another thing is integration with the uh, BMP uh, they will integrate the uh, integration nodes and uh, provide the uh, BMP for, for, uh, integration of BMPs here uh, workload management uh, they, they will uh, they will provide how to distribute the workload and how to manage all these embedded business uh, rules database services and analytics they will provide in the version 8 in the version 9 what they will do application development enhance such applications and libraries they have enhanced some libraries improve the dotnet support uh, in this you can do the dotnet support also record and replay uh, replay for facilities also there Rec uh, web, web services enhancement will be done here improve the graphical mapping the deployment and administrative enhancements will be improved here improve the message models so now in today uh, if we are talking about today iib 10 uh, 10 uh, is available uh, so uh, in the iib version 10 what they will do uh, the iib version 9 all the features of iib version 9 will be uh, will uh, will be taken from the IB version 9 and introduce some more features like REST APIs, callback flows, Salesforce uh, 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 cloud supports, and the loopback connectors, shared libraries, message queue operations to be created in integration node, 
and all these features will be introduced in the IIB V9. So what we, we will do in the next session, uh, we will discuss about uh, how to install this IIB V10 uh, and uh, uh, how we can create uh, an integration node and uh, how to uh, uh, how to test it we will discuss about in the IIB V10 now uh, this these slides is only just for uh, the overview uh, ki how the things will be uh, working so we will discuss uh, more about uh, uh, later in uh, in IIB 10 that is IIB is known integration uh, inti uh, what's the name of this integration 